18 News 5 leading the way with breaking news. That breaking news at noon, new details surrounding the case of a teenager accused of violently attacking a teacher at Colerain High School. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kelly Rippin. And I'm Stephen Albert. And a short time ago, we heard an update on that teacher's severe injuries and the next steps in the case as prosecutors seek to charge this 15-year-old as an adult. WLW2 anchor Megan Mitchell was inside the courtroom and has details from the teen's defense attorney. Megan. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Good afternoon to you guys. Sorry, it's been a long day in court and a number of updates in court today. That first being that the judge granted the defense an independent toxicology test. Now, the teen's attorney says he became violent after someone gave him a vape. The attorney for that student charged in this case wants this additional report. After the Hamilton County Coroner's report, indicated that there was no illicit drug found in his system. The defense told me after that hearing, the role of the Hamilton County Juvenile Court is to treat a juvenile within their best interest, not just throw them in jail to punish them. Okay, well, we of course are gonna have that for you later on in the show today, but I do of course wanna give just an update as to what we heard from the Hamilton County prosecutor as well. Uh, the Hamilton County prosecutor Melissa Powers was in court this morning. She wants that 15 year old tried as an adult because of the severity of the assault, uh, saying that this teacher was repeatedly beat in the head. She says that this uh, that this teacher was beaten so badly that she was unconscious and then ended up um, having to go through a number of different treatments. She said that a part of that teacher's skull had to come off to reduce the brain swelling and that that teacher is now in rehab. But once again, the judge did grant that independent toxicology report that bind over hearing to see if that teen will be tried as an adult is on April 19th. And of course, we're going to try to get uh, those sound bites from both the Hamilton County prosecutor and the defense attorney coming up later on WLWT. Kelly, for now, I'm going to send it back to you. All right, Megan, thank you. And more breaking news. We are learning new details.